What'd you say, Mom? You want me to give up my pacifier? I can't do that. I won't. This is the way that I self-soothe. You know how you come home after a rough day and you pour yourself a glass of wine? This is my glass of wine. The way I see it, there's a few different ways this can shake out. One is that we have a lot of fights and you lose a lot of sleep because I'm not gonna sleep without the pacifier. Or you can just let nature take its course and know that as I grow older, I'm not gonna want the pacifier anymore. I suck on my pacifier or I smoke. You choose. This is what I do to calm down. I can't exactly go have a spa day. I mean, I guess I could, but what toddler does that? You know when you're in the car listening to Oprah read books on tape? I'm doing this. <laughs> Same thing. This is my Oprah. You got me that pacifier fairy book. Tried to fill me with that nonsense. Oh, if you leave your pacifier outside your door, you get a present. A pacifier fairy. Come on, you're better than that. I taught myself how to walk. Can I do this please? Thank you. What if I asked you to give up cursing? You have your coping mechanisms, okay? You get to like kick back and watch TV. Well, guess what? I can't watch Grey's Anatomy. It's on too late. I'm not allowed any screen time. And frankly, the plot lines are a little implausible. I mean, is this a functioning hospital? It's stressing me out to think about it. <sighs> Change my diaper. <sighs> Don't we have bigger battles ahead of us? Am I gonna use it till I'm your age, 175? Pfft, probably not, but I am gonna use it for a while longer. I'm really glad we had this talk. <laughs> Annoying, isn't it? Anthony, can you say the break womb? No!